Hello, I'm Pete Martin for www.jazz-mandolin.com. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to keep up with all my latest videos. This video series is about doing chord melody on the mandolin and especially using what piano players and arrangers call drop two chords. This video will introduce what those chords are and use some music theory. If you want to skip the music theory and just go right into what the chord voicings are, you can just skip this video and go right on to video number two. Chord melody is a very common device used in jazz by piano players and guitar players, and we mandolin players can use this too. The most common thing they use are these drop two chords. Drop two chords are constructed from what are called bebop scales, and bebop scales are just common scales that have one additional note. So an eight note scale instead of the common seven note scales like major scale. Uh, what this extra note does is put that if uh, a measure is played as eighth notes in 4-4 four, four time, it puts the notes of the chords on the beat, which is a very useful um, musical trick to do, a uh, musical device to use. Uh, anyway, these chords are derived from that. So let's look at what a bebop scale is, and let's start with a major scale and a bebop major scale. I show those on the screen here. Notice the difference between the C major scale and the C major bebop scale is the G sharp note. Everything else is the same. Now, when, uh, when you hear like barbershop singing and you hear some um, like big band horn part horn arrangements, you hear quite often what are called four-way close. So these are four note chords, and in this case we'll use a sixth chord, a major sixth chord, so C, E, G, and A make a major sixth, a C major sixth. We'll use that, and these notes are stacked as close as you can get them. We'll put this in root position to where C is the bottom, E is the next note up, G is the next note up, and A is the next note up. So on screen I'm going to write what is a C four a C6 voiced in four-way close in root position. If we take this four-way close voicing and drop the second note from the top, an octave down, this is what piano players and arrangers call a drop two voicing. And I show that on screen here. Because of how the mandolin is tuned, we can't play a four-string close voicing. The four-string close voicing would have a C note here, E here, G here, and A here. We just simply cannot play those because two of the notes are on the same string. But if we take, and we, we also cannot play the four-string drop two voicing once again because you're going to have some notes on the same string. However, if we take the drop two voicing and remove the third lowest note, the third note down from the top, now we have mandolin voicings that work out really well and we can imitate the sound of the drop two voicings by using these three string mandolin voicings. I show that here. The next number of videos are going to go into these drop two voicings and the drop two scale voicings. 
uh, and you'll see what I mean starting in the next video by that term, and um, look at them very much in depth and also how to practice them and how we can put arrangements together using them either to make chord melody tunes or in improvising using chord melody. If you'd like to study this more in depth, I do have two PDF books that you may be interested in. Uh, they're free downloads, although I do ask people that if they find them useful that they donate $10 through PayPal to me. Um, the books are called Chord Melody Drop 2, and then the other one is Bebop Scales for Mandolin and, and Violin. And you can find these uh, under the books link at uh, jazz-mandolin.com. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and subscribe to my channel for any new videos that I post. Thank you.